Hi, this is Kim Brown, and today is our 25th day of our 40-day Lenten journey. Today we're in Jerusalem in the Holy Land, and right now behind me is the Upper Room. The Upper Room is the site of the early Christian community. We first come into account with the Upper Room as Jesus asks his disciples to go into the city to find a man that is carrying water, and that is where they are to celebrate the Passover meal. The Passover meal that will be celebrated will become what we as Christians know as the Last Supper and the institution of the Eucharist. In addition, this room is also going to be the site of the early Christian community. The early Christian community after Jesus' ascension, we will see them gathering here. We know that this room is actually a large room that Acts of the Apostles tells us that there'll be 120 of the disciples in here at one time. That this is also the place where the apostles after Jesus' ascension will select another to take the uh, spot of Judas. And so we see apostolic succession taking place here. With Jesus Christ, we saw his institution of the Eucharist, so the sacrament of the Eucharist. We also see him giving authority to his apostles to forgive sins, so the sacrament of reconciliation. And then we will see with Pentecost the uh, sacrament of confirmation as the Holy Spirit descends down upon them and that they, the tongues of fire. And then we see Peter going out to proclaim the word, right? And so what I would invite each of us to do is think about how the Holy Spirit is working in our life. So as we think about the Holy Spirit, right, we know we are baptized and the Holy Spirit comes to dwell inside of us. But sometimes I like us to have that visual image of the dove descending down upon us and entering into us. So if you imagine a white dove inside of you, and then think about what happens in life, right? When we're little kids, we do these little sins or what we would call little sins. We tell a lie, we hit our sisters or brothers, and it's like we're throwing mud on that white dove that's inside of us. Well, soon that mud dries up, right? That sin hardens our heart. And when that mud dries up, it makes us really tight. And the Holy Spirit doesn't have the ability to move around like it would if we were free from all that sin. And so what happens in that is the Holy Spirit, we lose the ability to allow the Holy Spirit to work in our life. And so that's why the sacramental of confession is so important because it allows us the freedom to allow the Holy Spirit to move into our life. And so what I would really encourage you to do is, you know, ask yourself, is the Holy Spirit, how is the Holy Spirit working in my life? Do I invite the Holy Spirit into my prayer time? Do I make a point to always allow the Holy Spirit to work? And if you need to go to the sacramental confession to help that Holy Spirit be clean, because imagine that dry mud from sin. Now imagine when you go to the sacramental confession, just a powerful water hose rinsing that Holy Spirit off. And now the Spirit is free to move in your life. And so I would invite you to just allow yourself to think, how can you allow the Holy Spirit greater movement in your life? Invite the Holy Spirit regularly into your prayer time, and then also be mindful to um, ask the Holy Spirit guidance as you're trying to make important decisions. God bless.